Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And uh, it's very interesting news that came out uh, early this week. The Rugby Championship have officially confirmed the final fixtures and times and venues of uh, the 2024 Rugby Championship. And a lot of South African fans may be rightfully quite upset with uh, some of the fixtures given the times of the games that um, are, are taking place. And I think it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a tough one to watch initially when you look at some of the times. But at the end of the day, you know, it's pretty well rugby and we will always get up and we will always get in behind the team. Um, but I think a bit of a straight thing, I think if you look at uh, the way some of the fixtures and look at the times, especially the sort of Australian league of the tour, which is uh, um, where we have to play, we have back to back uh, games. And, you know, South Africa carries the biggest TV audience of all the the member unions and You've got to think about that when you plan these fixtures. You've got to look at how do we make it accessible to the South African audience when you're playing against South Africa. And I think if you look at these fixtures, they're just not really um, very, very um, non-watching friendly. But before we look at them and discuss it, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. These are the fixtures. Um, I can't really blow it up much bigger than that, but um, so I will read them out to you in case you can't see it. This is the frustration. The first match, Australia versus South Africa at the Suncorp Stadium in Brisbane, will kick off at quarter to three local time, which makes it quarter to seven in the morning South Africa time. And I look at that and you just think, why? Why, 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 why? The game afterwards, New Zealand versus Argentina, taking place in Wellington, kicks off at uh, at seven o'clock. So it's just after this game. So, you know, you do want to have, you know, games sort of following each other ideally. But why are we not looking at, you know, a five o'clock kickoff in New Zealand and maybe a five o'clock kickoff in Australia, which would suddenly mean that the New Zealand game would start um, at quarter to seven, for example, seven, and the South Africa versus Australia game will start at about 9 a.m. South Africa time, which means that the entire country can watch very, very easily, as opposed to sort of the more diehards who'll get up at quarter to seven to watch it. You know, the rugby fans will watch at quarter to seven, your general sort of um, people who like to watch it with friends, stuff like that, not convinced they're going to watch it. Whereas, you know, at nine o'clock, you can go to a pub, you can go to the breakfast, for example, and you can watch Springbok rugby and you can have a bit of a day after that. Um, if you were to have it at seven o'clock, for example, in Brisbane, um, and that suddenly makes a quarter to seven to, you know, quarter to 11. Um, and, and, that, and then that all of a sudden becomes a really good time for, for, for South African viewership. So a bit frustrating. If you look at week two, um, it is a much better, it's, it's in, it's in Perth and the kickoff time there is five to six local time, which makes it five to 12 South Africa time. And New Zealand versus other team before that at nine o'clock, that's a very nice day, um, ahead. That is on the 17th of August. There is then a two week break, um, before we resume in September. So that will then host New Zealand, um, uh, kickoff at local time, um, is, uh, five o'clock and, uh, that'll be followed by. Argentina versus Australia, which is the South African time, will be at about 9 o'clock in the night, at night. Um, a week later, uh, South African versus New Zealand, this time in Cape Town. Once again, local time will be 5 o'clock, and the uh, same time for that uh, Australia, Argentina versus Australia game. Um, and, uh, I mean, you look at that, for example, that, that South Africa versus um, New Zealand game. And, and, and I must feel, and again, this becomes a bit more difficult from a... Um, and getting it right from New Zealand at a point at a time point of view. I mean, it's three in the morning over there. I mean, you do sit there thinking, could we look at a later kickoff over here? You know, as as, as for in South Africa, do we look at a seven o'clock kickoff, which makes it five a.m. and make it make to make that much more accessible? I mean, if you make it like a nine o'clock kickoff down in South Africa, then suddenly that becomes a a, a sort of seven a.m. kickoff, which might be a bit friendlier. But I mean, I think it's you know, that kind of situation is quite difficult to, to avoid. Uh, we then go to Argentina and uh, sit to, well, you're going to have been in for the long run because the first game um, against Argentina will be in Argentina. will start at 11 at night. And the final game of the rugby championship on the 29th of September will take place, uh, or actually on Saturday, will take place um, at five o'clock local time for, for South Africa. And um, that'll be in, um, in Bombela down over there in um in, in uh, so it's it's I mean it's two games or well, three games really or two or two games really which are, which are quite um, difficult to access or will make for difficult viewing from a South African perspective. The rest of them are quite straightforward in terms of times. Um, in terms of the chances for South Africa, I think you got to look at this and think you got to look to win here. To have two home games against New Zealand gives you an edge. It definitely gives you an edge. We do, however, have a very bad record against Australia in Australia, but there is a week break, you know, between. Um, or two weeks effectively, between the uh, Australia games and New Zealand games. So you can afford to get back to South Africa, have a week off, and still have another week building into taking on New Zealand 
at Emirates Airline Park um, on Saturday the 31st of, of August um, or Sunday the 31st of September what, what the time was over in New Zealand but um, you know you've got that week in the middle to travel so I think that the, the fixtures set this up to, be asked for, to really be competitive and I think that you know under under Rays it's going to be very interesting to see what the All Blacks do but this is a rugby championship I think the box should really be targeting to try and win yes we want to start looking at new players for example and stuff like that but I understand why we cannot go and look to beat um, Ireland 2-0 look to rotate against Portugal, maybe even rotate against Wales, you then focus on the rugby championship, win the rugby championship, autumn international, once again, you can look to try and uh, rotate players, which has always traditionally um, been when uh, often we've, we've looked to to, to blood new players. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the pictures down in the comments below. Please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.